Hey, this is in it. This is N2Alien with another quick follow-up video clip. Here are the four wheat bulbs that we uh, removed from the front panel of the um, behind the LCD display in the ICOM A21H. Um, <clears throat> Let me go ahead and power up the rig. Haven't powered it up yet. Just plugged in the radio and um, pretty straightforward. Um, and, uh, you know, soldering in the new bulbs. But here we go. So there's one bulb, I guess, for the meter and then three for the backlit display. And there you go. Let me shut the lights off here so you can get a view to see what this looks like. There you go. See if I can come in from the side here and uh, see if you can see them. Here they are. So you got one, two, three, and four. There you go. Okay. <clears throat> Job well done. And two. L E N will be uh, clear. Well, the end with another continuing video clip. D5, D4, as you can see, has been removed. D3 has been removed, and D2. And here are the four bulbs and the replacement, which may be a hair larger in size, a little bit longer in length, possibly. Um, I'm going to, of course, shorten the leads, but they did fit right into the holes perfectly. So um, hopefully this should go pretty smooth. They came right out and with no cleaning. So I'm just going to tack solder in the, uh, the four new ones. And like I said, these were like a uh, hundred pack from China, but they came from Amazon. And uh, this will last me probably forever. I bet you you could even use them for meter bulbs, uh, for CB radios, and for um, ham radios too. Uh, they're 12 volt, I think 60 to 70 milliamp. Let's see if I can get in there. There you go. So there's the four originals. One was good, four were out, and I could have switched over and went with LEDs, uh, but I chose not to. I'm just going to uh, put it back uh, as close to original, and hopefully once we do that, we're going to put back the front panel. But we will test the, this, we will test the back lighting uh, once we're done, so we'll be back. This is the 821H. 2 meter 440 high powered satellite radio, dual manned. Bye bye. This is N2LEM with a continuing video clip uh, desoldering the uh, wheat uh, bulbs, 12 volt wheat bulbs in the uh, ICOM ICA21H. I already, um, I'm using a, uh, a dentist pick. And uh, let me go in and actually show you what I did here. So basically, I just literally heated it up got under it and then lifted it up so now this lead is now loose so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a needle nose plier and hold on to this lead while I desolder this just heat it up and then this will just come right out of this will just lift right out of the out of the hole or the socket it's just actually just sitting in in the hole and the leads are actually holding it in with a small little bend of the leaves. They actually leads. They look like the old uh, Christmas lights. There you go. We'll be back. This is N2LEM with another quick video clip continuing the uh, repair of the ICOM IC821H. A couple of days ago we uh, rebuilt the uh, keypad memory and cleaned all the gook off of it. Now we are, radio is, is disassembled front panel is uh, disassembled, the bezel's off, and we have the front panel now um, drop down. There are four screws, um, one that you can make the panel slide forward. I took that out, two on each side. 
uh, we're going to be replacing the display uh, bulbs for the um, the LCD. There are four bulbs, uh, DS2 through DS5. I'll bring them in so you could see them. That's DS3, there's DS2, and you could actually see their uh, wheat bulbs, two leads, um, and there are four of them, DS3, DS4, and there's DS5. I think right now one bulb is working. So we're going to, uh, I'm going to actually just, you know, I was thinking of using the, the uh, desolder sucker, but if you actually see how these leads are, they actually sit right in the solder. So what I'm going to do is, and this is what I actually bought as replacements. I found them on um, Amazon, a hundred pack for I think 10 bucks, and they look, they look like they should fit, hopefully, don't know yet, you know, we'll see. But whatever it is, I'll make do. These are just uh, regular 12 volt, 60 MA uh, model uh, lamp lights for trains and stuff. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to use a um, a dentist tool and with the solder gun, and I'm just going to literally get in with the pick right to the lead and um, lift up. Get under there, heat it up, and just lift the leads out like that. And that's what I'm gonna, and that's how I'm gonna remove them. So uh, there'll be some other clips. I'll take a picture of when they're removed. Uh, but uh, there you go. This is N2 LEM.